Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. Well, girl, let me introduce myself to you, bitch. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So, girl, listen, quite point blank, period. If you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, honey, you have found me. You, girl, you found me. We found each other. So, thank you to the algorithm. Thank you to the YouTube Thank you. We have found each other, bitch. Let's have an emotional hug, okay, bitch? Listen, girl, I'm a mess today. The whole day, I've been thinking it's Monday, okay? The whole day. I mean, since I woke up, I've been literally doing, like, Monday things in my head. Like, you know, I've sent out emails. I've I've, I've talked on the phone. I've wished people a good Monday on my walk with the dogs. You know, happy Monday, neighbor. Happy Monday, neighbor. Girl, it's Thursday. Girl, it's Thursday. When did it become Thursday? I cannot have Halloween in the fucking middle of the week, bitch. Um, anyways, girl, how are you? Here's Ariel. Um, we are back in the closet for, you know, I just thought, hey, let me be in the closet for today, bitch. Not, 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 uh, mentally uh, and spiritually, honey. I'm very out of the closet. Physically, I'm in the closet, bitch, okay? Girl, listen, I love Dig too much to be in the damn closet, okay? Listen, we gotta talk about Justin Bieber, honey, because Usher is teasing that he is allegedly going to collaborate with Justin at the Super Bowl. Now, listen, let's be quite honest here. I have no idea what a Super Bowl is. I know that that's where people sing in the middle of the concert called the halftime show. Anytime I've watched the Super Bowl is to watch the halftime show. And usually I only like when girls perform. <laughs> that's just, I don't like boy singers. I don't know what it is. I, Ever since I was a kid, like there's not one boy singer that I like. I, it's just, I don't know, girl. It's just a me thing, I guess. I don't relate to, hey, girl, you're my world, you're my life, you're my everything. Like, I can't, you know, I'm more like, oh, the boy, you know, like, like you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, I could appreciate their looks, you know, I could appreciate their looks, but like, I don't know, I don't sit here and listen to like, if you guys saw my playlist, <gasps> should I do a Spotify playlist? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so listen, right? So the Super Bowl is gonna be huge, Usher's performing. Actually, a lot of people were very shocked that he was performing. There were rumors that it was going to be a pop uh, 2000s kind of um, halftime show, which was allegedly gonna be like in sync and Backstreet Boys and boys to men and it was gonna be like boy bands um or groups something like that but it's usher and he's he's done collaborations in the past uh and one of course it's it's you know huge part is justin bieber so a lot of people believe justin is going to be on stage but fans are also concerned if justin can do it uh, the Super Bowl is, you know, I guess the biggest stage in the whole world that is viewed by millions of, of people. And, you know, the halftime show comes in like a billion people to watch. And it's going to be pretty, pretty huge. Now, listen, I'm not sure how big Usher is outside of the U.S., if I'm being quite honest. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if he's reached, you know, worldwide success that's just me. I don't follow his career, so I could be dead wrong. So this is not me shading or insulting. But I do think that if someone like Justin Bieber were doing the halftime show, of course, I think it would be a more massive thing. So I do think that Usher needs to bring out the big guns. And I think that one of them is Justin Bieber. And I think that Justin... You know, he did take some time away from, from the spotlight because obviously, you know, he had to focus on his health and stuff, which, you know, totally. He, I, I Listen, I have to say, I admire anybody who puts themselves first. When you have such a big blessing like being, you know, like in the entertainment business where you're getting millions of dollars just to be you, just for an appearance. And, you know, you get millions and millions and millions of dollars on tour. Some artists, they just burn out when they're on tour because they keep adding dates and adding dates, you know, because, of course, money talks. So their their team, you know, pressures them into doing it. And towards the end of the tour, they have to take like a year or two off because they are mentally and physically drained. So Justin, he, you know, stood up and he, he I have to admire that. He put his health first and I think that's fabulous. You know, walking away from millions and millions of dollars. I mean, he could have done multiple tours by, you know, with this time off, he could have done albums, but he's chosen not to. So there's something I admire is anybody putting their mental and physical health first. Um, having said that, I do think that Justin can come out and do one song. You know, I really do. I think that joining uh, Usher on stage 
at the biggest stage in the world. I think that it's definitely a lot of pressure, but you know, he has time to rehearse. He has time to kind of come to terms with it. And there have been a lot of rumors that he is planning a huge comeback, which will be his last for a very long time. The rumors are that he's planning a, what, another album and a huge tour, and then he's gonna, you know, really just focus on being like normal. So I think this would be actually a really good way for him to start his huge comeback. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot. I, over the weekend with Halloween weekend, there have been a lot of criticisms over Justin Bieber. Um, a lot of people are, you know, talking ill about his, his, um, his, his appearance. Uh, saying that he's too skinny, they're skinny shaming, body shaming. And here's the thing that I feel like a lot of you guys appreciate, uh, which I'm so grateful for, is that you guys know that e even though I'm Team Selena firm and always, I, I'm human first. And I, I hate, honestly, like the, the body shaming treatment that Justin does get. I've heard and I've read so many nasty comments. And it's not, uh, you know, this is obviously, it happens to everybody. You know, it happens to us in school or at work, like family gatherings. And, you know, for them, of course, it's on a huge stage, you know, a huge platform. And I just honestly think like Justin, maybe he needs this. You know, I think he needs to look like a pop star again for, for at least a night. And I think also it would be a great way for him to like say goodbye to the stage if that's really what he's planning. But I also feel like Justin wants nothing to do in the entertainment business. I think that him going to parties and grabbing the microphone and singing, I think that's what he kind of likes. But I don't see him like being that pop star again, like the well-behaved, you know. Girl, listen, I would be fired from being a pop star, bitch. I really, truly would. I, you know, all of these rules and everything that you have to follow and you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to sit a certain way. Bitch, I, Princess Diary, I would not be able to be a Princess Diary. I would not be the Queen of Genovia right now, bitch. I'd be the Queen of Mesojovia. Um, because, girl, listen, let me tell you something. I hate anything that does not allow you to be yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I am a firm believer in being yourself. I feel like you're not going to be liked by everybody. I feel like your body is going to be a, 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 a problem for some people. I think the way that you live your life is going to be a problem for some people. But at the end of the day, if you are at ease, if you are safe, if your mental and physical and spiritual body are aligning with good, girl, you do you, bitch. You know what I mean? I don't know why I just went with that rant. How did I get from the Super Bowl to that? Girl, listen, the inspiration fucking, it, it struck and I got, I had to say it. Um, but anyways, girl, what do you guys think? Oh, this smells so freaking good. This candle is part of a gift that I got. If you could smell it, I... Oh, God, it smells so good. And I don't want to burn it because it's one of those bougie candles. Um, so I keep it in my closet, and it actually kind of makes my closet smell really good. Let me tell you something. Moving on from Justin for a second. For me, you guys, one of the most important things that I am so strict about is the smell of my home, the the environment, the, the aura of my home. Um, I feel like th this is something I was taught since I was a, a very, uh, you know, a kid. Um, by my, I saw my grandmother, my family, like my mom, you know, they're very into like candles and, 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 you know, making everything smell really good because there's nothing worse than going into somebody's home and having that really bad smell. And also I have two dogs, so I have to be on top of it. So for me, candles are like my, like if, 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 if you ever wanted to get me a gift, candles, I love candles so much. My biggest dream is to have like, you know how people have pantries of food? You know what I mean? No, I want a pantry of food too. Yeah, I want a bougie pantry of food, but I want a pantry of candles. My favorite scents, now that you asked, um, well, of course, I'm very basic. I love pumpkin, I love cinnamon, I love apple. I love gardenia, and I love like, um, sometimes, not all the time, but I love this certain, um, this certain, um, which we call it, this certain, um, like, wood sandal tobacco one i've not been able to get that one back but it's a very like a musky smell which honestly i i don't have that a lot i do love my pumpkin i love cinnamon my mom's scent is cinnamon and apple combined um so yeah and if you don't like candles because of the chemicals do pots simmer pots or whatever they're called girl it's so easy okay here listen girl i don't know where this video went but you you know me girl here on my channel you get tips you get manifestation you get you get all of the mess um sometimes what i love to do is i love to get a pot 
and fill it up with water. Put some cloves, a good handful of cloves. Put cinnamon sticks, okay? Cut an apple, all right? Cut an apple and like in four maybe put some orange peel if you if you if you want and then if you have any kind of like little drops of something you can but if you want to just keep it like organic just do that and then i let it simmer in low for like an hour right and then i i i i i, I take the top off and then all the the, the smoke the steam the smells are delicious so what i do is i grab the pot and i just walk around the house and I let it, you know, I stay in, you know, each part of my house, like, you know, for a good two minutes and just kind of let it, you know, and it literally fills your home with like the most beautiful scent and it's organic. There's no weird candle. You know, I know some people don't like candles and stuff because of that. So it's, it's natural. So there you go. Tip of the day, bitch. Um, Anyways, I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see Justin on stage at the Super Bowl. And I love you all very much. And I'm very grateful for you. Bye.